जय हिंद फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी हैप्पी रिपब्लिक डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू द टॉपिक दैट आई हैव चोजन फॉर द लेक्चरेट इज इंडिया म्यांमार रिलेशन सो इंडिया एंड म्यांमार हैव अ वेरी डीपली रूटेड शेयर कल्चरल इकोनॉमिक एथनिक हिस्टोरिकल एंड रिलीजियस टाइज इट वॉज इन दी जापनीज ऑक्यूपाइड बर्मा दैट आवर नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस गेव द स्लोगन गिव मी ब्लड एंड आई विल गिव यू फ्रीडम द शेयर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर लैंड बाउंड्री बिटवीन इंडिया एंड म्यांमार इज शेयर अक्रॉस द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न इंडियन स्टेट दैट इज अरुणाचल प्रदेश नागालैंड मणिपुर एंड मिजोरम along with also the you can say uh, sea border that is shared with india's andaman islands thereafter india and uh, myanmar uh, immediately uh, established diplomatic ties uh, after of course in uh, myanmar's uh, independence from britain in the year 1948 thereafter they shared uh, Uh, a common allies uh, as the you know the um, india's non aligned movement in 1950s and they also signed a treaty of friendship in the year 1951 thereafter india and myanmar have uh, gone through uh, you know uh, strong uh, ties uh, owing to its uh, you know the fact that uh, myanmar was a province of india uh, uh, you know uh, before its independence of course and also let's not forget it has various you know presence of uh, significant indian community in myanmar and also uh, you know flourishing commerce and trade and thereafter india has also helped uh, you know uh, myanmar in its uh, various insurgencies and uh, 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 in the year 1987 uh, there occurred a uh, 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 you know good effect on the on the indian myanmar relations when the then prime minister rajiv gandhi uh, visited myanmar in the year 1987 of course right but after that the uh, you can say the uh, the overthrow of the democratic government by the military rule um, uh, you know brought in some strains in the india myanmar relations but uh, uh, nevertheless in the last 3 decades india and myanmar have uh, you can say shared various uh, cooperation cooperatives uh, uh, let it be or uh, you know uh, acting against various insurgent groups or uh, you know Uh, uh advancing in its trade deals and also in you can say infrastructure projects so we can say uh recently uh in february 2021 um the overthrow of the uh, you can say the democratic government that is the prime minister uh, aung san suu kyi has been detained and the uh, coming of the tatma dao that is the armed forces of the myanmar into the you can say the rule, as the rule, rule ruling you can say ruling uh, establishment in myanmar has brought in a sort of you can say um, strategic uh, you can say um, importance for india wherein myanmar is a strategically important uh, country for india keeping in mind the chinese influence uh, in the southeast uh, southeastern asia and so that is why uh, though india has uh, condemned the violence going on in the myanmar but has explicitly not uh, you can say spoken against the uh, or for the legitimacy of the elections right so uh, that shows the significance of myanmar for india uh, keeping in mind it is the only neighbor with which india shares both uh, you can say territorial and uh, sea border and uh, uh, it is also present at a strategic place where india and china have clashing interests right so uh, further taking uh, 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 taking further this point you know uh, india has now um you can say uh, indulged directly uh, with the uh, of course the uh, tatma dao and uh, that has helped uh, you can say myanmar to ease its uh, you can say isolation from the rest of the world and uh, in that way it is helping its own uh, you can say relation with uh, myanmar because of course the sort of its economic relations uh, being questioned there india is the, you can say the fifth largest uh, um, export partner of myanmar and also the fourth largest import partner of uh, myanmar right so um, around uh, uh, 
apart from that now that uh, india and myanmar have uh, you know after the of course the uh, thakman are coming in power uh, they have uh, co- established the cooperation on uh, acting against the insurgent groups in the you can say the uh, border areas and uh, also uh, acting against the you can say uh, traffic drug trafficking uh, uh, groups in that in, in those border areas and that is why it is a very important ally in acting against the extremism and insurgent groups of course so uh, india and myanmar also have you can say uh, a bi- an, an army exercise known as the india myanmar bilateral army exercise that is uh, aimed at uh, increasing the cooperation and understanding between these armies so hope you would have all have got to know a good uh, you know information between india and myanmar relations in in the historical aspects and the current aspects as well thanks a lot